Hello friends, today we are going to see about the machine independent loader features. In machine independent loader features, we are going to see about the automatic library search and loader options. So first let us see what is automatic library search. Uh, most of the linking loaders, they automatically use the subroutines from the uh, subprogram library into the program that is being loaded. So these subroutines, what it will do, it will call the program that are automatically fetched from the library and then they are loaded into the memory and loaded and executed. Uh, well, they are fetched from the library, linked with the main program and then uh, loaded for the purpose of execution. The program need not do any other beyond mentioning just the subroutine names. The linking loaders that support the automatic library search, it must keep a track of the external symbols that are referred. Only the name of the external symbols and not the definition of the external symbols. At the end of the pass one, the symbol tables that remain undefined all will be considered as the unresolved external references. The loader searches the library for routines that contain the definition of these symbols and then it will process the subroutines. This process will be done exactly as if it had been a part of the input stream. The subroutines fetched from a library in this way themselves contain the external references. It is necessary to repeat this process until all the references are resolved. If at the end there are any unresolved references remain, then they will be considered as errors. If a symbol is defined both in the source program and the library, then the one in the source will be considered first. A program can make his own library in Unix using the AR command. Next is the loader options. Many loaders allow the user to specify the options that modify the standard processing. Standard processing itself can be changed here for example. Include program name. What it will do? It will uh, the directly ask the loader to read the name that is from the library. Same way, delete C as the control section name. It will instruct the loader to delete the named control section from the set of programs that are being loaded. Same way, change name one comma name two. It will cause the external symbol name one to be changed to, to name two wherever it appears. Loader option applications in the copy program. We write two subroutines, read record and write record, to perform read record and write records. Suppose that the computer system provides read and write subroutines which are similar and have advanced functions. Without modifying the source program or reassembling it, we can just follow the loader options to make the copy program by using the read instead of read write and write rather than write record. These are the example commands. Thank you.